What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're using everybody's favorite deer. Yep, we're using a Xerneas team that also features a weakness policy Charizard alongside with a crazy cool Zassy moveset. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring those notification bells so you do not miss out on any of my videos. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Clover Bells. Thank you so much for making me yet another banger of a team. Cannot wait to use it. Cannot wait to grab some wins with it on that rank ladder. If you guys want to go check out his content, he has a YouTube page, he has a Twitter page, but we'll be leaving all the links to all of his socials down in the description below. But with that out of the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with Xerneas over here. And Xerneas is actually one of my favorite legendaries based on just design. I just think it's super cool and his colors are really cool as well. The Cernius has the Fairy Aurora as its ability, alongside that Power Herb as its item, so Geomancy can be used in one turn. We got Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Geomancy, like I already mentioned, and Protect for this thing's four moves. Second Pokemon is going to be Incineroar. Incineroar is going to be great for helping the Cernius set up Geomance, because it has that Fake Out and it can make a Pokemon flinch on turn one. It also has Intimidate, alongside with Shuka Berry as item, and then the other three moves it has is going to be Flare Blitz, Parting Shot, and Throat Chop, so that normal, really strong Incineroar is on this team. Middle left is going to be Charizard. It's got solar power, but it's holding the weakness policy as its item. That's really cool considering I don't think I ever really use a weakness policy Charizard. Definitely going to be a lot of fun. But I think it's proc. This thing is just going to be able to do a crazy amount of damage. It's got Blast Burn. It's got Hurricane. It's got Ancient Power and Protect for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon is my favorite support mon of all time, or at the moment, it is my favorite support mon. It is Light Clay Grimmsnarl. I love this Pokemon so much. I just always love them ever since this game came out, and I still love them to this day. It's got Prankster, then it's got Spirit Break, the double screens with Light Screen and Reflect, and then Scary Face to lower opposing Pokemon speed. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Groudon over here. Groudon's going to pair up with the Charizard really well because it can set the sun and have that solar power pop for him as well. It's got Assault Vest, alongside with the Drought, and then Precipice Blades, Stone Edge, Fire Punch, and Shadow Claw for an amazing Assault Vest moveset. Final Pokemon is going to be Zacian, and this Zacian right here has a moveset that I have never seen on the rank ladder, never used on the rank ladder, so I cannot wait to use it and showcase it for you guys. Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword as item and ability, then it's got Iron Head, Sacred Sword, and Protect, but then its fourth move is Solar Blade. That is really cool. I didn't even know it learned it, but since we're uh, using a little bit of a Sun Team, Solar Blade can definitely come in clutch with Zacian and definitely throw off our opponents. But guys, there's the team preview. If you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 13 Xerneas team. First match is coming at you guys, and we're going up against a very strong heavy meta team. He's got Shadow Rider Calyx alongside Yveltal, Zacian, uh, Eternatus, and then he's rocking Regilecki and Kyogre. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I could set up screens turn one. Screens is not too bad. I could go screens alongside with Xerneas, but he could also lead... Um, he could also lead the Zacian. I definitely want to set up screens, or do I just want to go into Incineroar with Intimidate? Maybe just Parting Shot turn one? That wouldn't be too bad. That would not be too bad, but he has a lot of special attackers, which I have to watch out for. So I'm leaning more towards Grimstarl just to set up the Light Screen. Yeah, I'm going to go Grimstarl here. I could also lead the Charizard and maybe just Dynamax him, and then hard swap to Grimstarl later on, but we don't really need the Sun. We really won't need the Sun, but Solar Power does really help us out here. What do I want to do? I mean, we can take some speed with Charizard with Dynamax, and I feel like that's our only way of getting speed. We also do have Scary Face, which could be good, so I might just go Charizard. Charizard could be a lovely lead. Bring Groudon in the back end, and then last but not least, have that Solar Blade Zacian as our final Pokemon. I just feel like that works really well. I really do, but this one's going to be tough. It is definitely going to be tough. He's got a lot of heavy meta Pokemon. Hopefully, we counteract it and grab ourselves a win in battle number one. But before battle number one starts, you guys know the deal. Let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What are some of your favorite moves in all of Pokemon? Out of all the Pokemon games, what are some of your favorite moves? Let me know in the comment section down below. There's just so many cool moves. I would love to hear you guys' answers. But uh, he's going to end up leading Kyogre and Regilecki, which I don't really like. I mean, I set up a light screen here all day. But I could hard swap the Charizard into the Groudon. I get a little bit of value, but it's still kind of tough. I mean, I could just protect this turn and block this Max Lightning from coming in. And proc policy at the same time. Right? That sounds really good. It does sound really good. It does sound really, really good. Hmm. Light Screen, proc policy for Charizard. 
Because he's going to Dynamax at Regilecki all day, right? Correct? Makes a lot of sense. I'm kind of bad at it. He's going to Dynamax at Regilecki, right? No Dynamax comes out from him, so I'm cool with that. I'll set up this light screen, and then I'll start scary facing Pokemon. Light screen's going to poke, and I'm just going to roll from there. The light screen's out and about. He's probably going to take out Grimmsnarl here. No, he sets up a light screen of his own. Wow. Wow. Support Regilecki. We love it. Support Regilecki coming in here. Water Spout's going to fly. Um, I could slow down Regilecki a little bit here. I could definitely slow down Regilecki. Or I could set up a Reflect. I mean, I don't think I really need a Reflect up here. I mean, probably a Zassian, but... I'm thinking I lean more towards a shot like this. And then just Hurricane straight into Kyogre here. If he wants to go for another Water Spout, it's fine. Kind of cool with just doing this. But is he on a Dynamax now? There is definitely a chance he does it. But he does not. So we just Scary Face. We're going to lower this Regilecki speed. We're hoping that the Charizard can actually outspeed at this point. Which he does, which is beautiful. So Hurricane's going to come in here hot. Do a decent amount of damage. Actually, oh my god. Is that Vest it? I think could be Vest it. I mean, Light Screen's definitely helping him out. And he sets up Double Screen. This thing's confused. We're hoping we can waste a turn on Confusion here. And kind of go from there. That could be big for us. And he does not. He gets off the Water Spout. So that can pick up the Double Kill. It tries to eat. Charizard does not eat. Wow, Kyogre's is still ridiculously OP. Okay. Now we're sitting in this position here where we're just going to change up weather. We do bring out Zassi with Solar Blade, which is really cool. Which I... Oh, I get to actually showcase it off. I'm going to drop this right into the... What's called slot? The Kyogre slot. <laughs> I'm just going to drop that into the Kyogre slot. I can go into a Max Quake if I wanted to. But I don't know if I should. I do not know if I should. That's the problem. Do I go into a Quake here? Because he could have Yvelta on the back end. But do we think he's going to really double swap? I mean, Kyra could protect. He could swap the Regilecki. But I'm thinking of just dropping Blades. That Regilecki is minus two on speed. But I'm thinking... Actually, I don't think he has Yvelta on the back end. Like, Yvelta doesn't really have an advantage for us. Right? Looking at his team, it seems like if he brings Yvelta, he doesn't really get a lot of value out of it. Whereas I think he brought like Shadow Rider, Calyrex, or Zacian. I think I'm cool with just Dynamaxing him and just sending a Quake this way. And then on top of that, dropping a beautiful Solar Blade. I do think he swaps Kyogre, but just in case he doesn't, we get to showcase Solar Blade, and Solar Blade's going to be amazing. It's going to be really strong. It's going to be a really strong move. But he does have Reflect up, which is kind of annoying. He could have the Sash on the Regilecki. The screens are out and about. It's kind of tough, but we have a Light Screen out. We have a Light Screen out. So we're going to end up Dynamaxing. No swap comes out here, so I dig it, yo. I'm hoping that this Zassian can just rip into this... Uh, Kyogre, but there is a slight chance that he can is able to eat it up due to that reflect being out and about. So we're gonna Dynamax the ground on. Beautiful, lovely. We're hoping that the Reggie's not Sash. Which it might not be Sash. It could be Light Clade. It could definitely be Light Clade. Setting up screens and the Sash could be on the Shadow Rider Calyrex. And he's gonna Dynamax as well. Who we that's gotta be Kyogre. He's gotta be changing up weather that way. So it's gonna be good that what's called does get to go first. That Sassian does get to go first because. We get off the Solar Blade, and then we can change to a different move. Now, how much damage is the Solar Blade really going to do? Because we know he's changed up weather. And hopefully Ground's faster than Kai Ogre. That could be good. Solar Blade's going to fly. He's probably like, yo, what is this? <laughs> he's like, he's probably sitting here like, yo, Zacian has Solar Blade? What is going on? Solar Blade pops here, and oh my god, he's lucky Dynamax. That did some heavy damage. That did some heavy damage. He's going to end up Thunder Caging me. That's okay. Should be able to soak pretty well here. Yeah. And then we should just be able to take out this... uh but it's lucky, and on top of that, get a special defense boost. Cool. And it is good to know that my boy actually outspeeds. There's probably going to change uh, whether I know a Behemoth Blade should be able to take out Kyogre at this point. But I really do like where... I really, I kind of like where we're sitting here. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. But that Solar Blade did a crazy amount of damage, which was huge. Oh, he's still confused. I forgot about that. Waste turn. Hit yourself. Come on, now. Come on, now. He's going to drop a Hailstorm. That's going to be easy soaks for us. I'm cool with that. I'm actually, I actually like that better than the Rain. I actually like the hail better than the rain. I actually really do. But it is good to know that my ground outspeeds this uh, Kyogre. It is really good. But he's probably going to go into a Pokemon like... Uh, I would say Shadow Rider Calyrex going to come out here, right? And if Shadow Rider Calyrex does come out here or Zacian, I think I just protect my Zacian and go after that slot. But I'm not really too worried about this Kyogre. The special defense boost. I feel like eventually my Zacian could just outspeed if we can get after it. And he goes into Eternatus. Okay, I mean, we don't play rough. And I think at this point, I still just protect, right? I think I just protect and take him out. 
I mean, I could get rid of the Kyogre. Kyogre could definitely guard here. But I just don't see that, uh... Hmm, do I protect here? I mean, I wish I would play rough. I know I can get rid of the Kyogre. Actually, I'm not gonna protect. I'm not gonna protect. Just because I know that this Xerneas cannot KO my Zassi in one shot. But it's gonna be confused. He's going for a guard here. I knew he would go for a guard. And of course, three turns of ducks and nothing happens. I'm kind of glad we didn't go for the protect. I kind of maybe need it next turn. This is a really good battle. That's going to happen. He's going to end up going for the uh, Dynamax Cannon, which we should be able to soak. Good thing I didn't go for the protect. That was actually rather smart by me to not do it. This happens. You should be able to eat this up ground on. Yeah. Oh my God. You soaked that like crazy. My man. My man. Max Quake's going to fly. We still have one more turn in Dynamax, which is huge. And we still have Zassian who can actually protect this turn, which is really good for us. The special defense is boosted through the roof. We're kind of hoping he's not rocking out with uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. Or not Shadow Rider Calyrex. We're kind of hoping he's not using Zassian, the only physical attacker. Because A, we have a light screen up. And B, we're plus two on special defense. So we're hoping that it is Shadow Rider Calyrex. We are hoping that it's Shadow Rider Calyrex. Because we get soak shots up all day. Oh, and I do have a soul vest on Groudon. This thing is just special defense boosted all around. So show me Shadow Rider Calyrex, please. Anything but Zassian. Awesome. I like that all day. So from here, um, yeah, I can definitely take out the Kyogre. I think I just take out Kyogre and I Quake, right? Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Just take out the Kyogre, drop a little Quake action. I think we should be good. I think we should be good. Like I said, we are absolutely boosted out of our minds in special defense right now. Like, look how much damage this Hash Barrage can do. Absolutely nothing. Behemoth Blade's gonna fly. This should be able to take out Kyogre, no problem. And then this Quake should be able to take out the Zassian. Or not Zassian. The Shadow Rider Calyrex. Alongside with the Buffets. Because I do think that the Focus Ash is on this Calyrex. And then Buffets should be able to finish it off. But yo, what a battle. What a comeback by us. He had the first two kills onto us. And then I felt like we had a little bit of little bit of upper hand. Like those two Pokemon that were out on own field kind of set up with this Groudon and Zassian for victory. But they, they came in the back end and cleaned everything up, which is perfect. But we don't even bring it down to Focus Ash. That is surprising. I gotta always remember there is a Reflect on the field. Reflect is out and about. But yeah, we are totally fine here. Like, you are not taking out my Groudon at all. At all. Not even close. Not even close. But I'm super glad we got to showcase the Solar Blade in the first battle. The sun was out, everything. If that Kyogre did not Dynamax, we're taking him out in one shot even through the Reflect. But it still did a crazy amount of damage into the Reflect. But, uh, do I just drop a Fire Punch? I mean, Shadow Claw is actually our play here. I'll drop a Shadow Claw, and I'll just put him with Blade. But I think this dude cancels. Actually, no. He's probably going to try to go for some crits here. Astro Bosch is going to come out here. But, dude, we soak up all day. We're plus three on Special Defense, and my Groudon has an Assault Vest. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Soak. The Soak is beautiful. And we have Light Screen. Oh, my God. Soak is beautiful. Behemoth Blade flies here. That is going to be GG's, and your boy takes battle number one. First battle went pretty solid, but we're hopping into our second battle and we're looking to go back to back here. Going up against yet another pretty strong team. He's got Kyogre, he's got Regilecki, Shadow Rider Calyx, Landers for Intimidate, and then he's got Whimscott for Speed Control. And last but not least, he is rocking that Zassian. Okay, how should I play this one? How should I go into it? A few physical attackers, I should say two physical attackers, but the rest are special. I really do like Grimstrong here again. I just love the screens. I think screens you get a lot of value out of and it makes your team very, very bulky. So I think just leading Grimson is going to be a solid play for us. Plus it grants us a little bit of speed control with the scary face. So I really do like him here. So I'm going to go Grim Grimson and I might also lead it with the Xerneas. Do I lead it with the Xerneas is the real question. Do I lead it with the Xerneas? Because he can do a few things here. He's probably going to lead the Wimscott, right? I don't think he's going to lead the Zassian. I really don't see that happening. I see more so like a, uh, a what's called coming out here. A Kyogre lead, right? Or even Regilecki could definitely be a thing. So I just think I go into Xerneas. I think I do go into Xerneas here. And maybe try to get that rolling. Or do I just go Incineroar to try to get that rolling? That could be pretty good for us. Hmm. And we have 8 seconds left, so I'm going to have to force pick. I'm going to go ground on and Zassian. Okay, let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. I, luckily, I looked at the time. I was just thinking about everything and like who should I go into for a lead. And then I looked at the time and was like, yep, we have 8 seconds to pick. Probably should go with my big dogs, and I just threw Groudon and Zassian on that team. So we didn't really get to think about our team picks. Ran out of time, but it's all good. We're going to win this battle regardless. I got you guys. Don't worry. I got you guys. Hopefully, I got you guys. <laughs> He's going to go Wimscott alongside with Calyrex, and this is why I kind of want to lead the uh, 
the what's it called? The incineroar, because I could just fake out this turn. But what should I do? Um, hmm. What should Jeans do here? I could. Hmm, do we think he's rocking taunt? I could protect, set up a light screen. Could be good. I definitely want to set up a light screen, and he could taunt me and waste out my turn. So do I go Geomance or do I just pop like a? I might want to protect here. I'm not even gonna lie. I might want to just protect and set up the light screen. I might. Hmm. He gotta have taunt. I'm thinking he has taunt, right? Actually, no. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play it simple. I'm gonna pop the Geomance and say this Whimscot's not popping a taunt. I'm gonna say this Whimscot is not popping a taunt, and it doesn't seem like he has a taunt. Just because the sheer fact is he's taking a little bit to make his turn. Because if he did have taunt, it would be pretty straightforward. Like, you know, taunt the Xerneas right after it and just go for an Astro Barrage. But yeah, so we're going to set up this Geomancer. We're going to set up the Light Tree at the same time. And we're just, just going to try to get rolling out with this battle. I'm just going to set up the Light Tree. Cool. Good call by me to go into the straight Geomancer. Get a lot of value out of it. So we go double Light Tree. So Light Screens are popping. A lot of screens in today's video. Regilecki's popping screens. Grimstarl's popping screens. The Swimscott's popping screens. All around. The Astro Barrage now flies. Um, kind of fine with that. Xerneas eats up really well. Eats up really well. He gets a crit on my Grimstar. Get out of my face with that. We don't like that one bit. But now with Geomance, I feel like we have... Well, we're not going to have speed once he Tailwinds, right? Once he Tailwinds, we lose speed. So I feel like he Tailwinds, but I feel like we double down to the Shadow Rider Caldex. Correct? That seems like a good play to make. I really don't feel like Dynamax and my Xerneas here. I just don't think it's the play. I feel like we save our Dynamax for the Groudon with the Soul Fest. And we get after it that way. But yeah, I just go into a Spirit Break here all day. Spirit Break, and then I double down with, like, Dazzling Gleam. Gleamy Gleam. But who has the Focus Ash? One of these guys has the Focus Ash. There's the Tailwind. And it might be... It's got to be Shadow Rider Calyrex. Right? If you have a... Mm, I don't even know. Ash Barrage is going to fly. Both my Pokemon eat this. And that should be easy. Easy takeouts for, uh, for Shadow Rider Calyrex. So we Dazzle Gleam up, I'll eat, send it, and actually we're not going to take out Shadow Rider Kyler, which kind of hurts. That hurts the soul. Actually, did we? Oh, was that a crit? Was that a payback crit? It was not. Oh, he doesn't have a uh, Reflect set up. Beautiful. So Spirit Break comes in here and we take that Pokemon out. That's big all day. That is big all day. But he's going to go, he has Whimscot out on the field, he has Tailwind set up. I feel like we just have to scary face this next Pokemon. Do I already have Lich Green set up, and yeah, I'm definitely going to scary face this guy. He's going to Dynamax it. He's definitely Dynamax, and we gotta slow it down. Bring it back to normal speed, and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna do this. I could protect. I could protect just to waste out some turns, but I'm not going to. So I'm just gonna take out the Whimscot here and deal a little bit of damage to Kyogre. But yeah, the scary face is gonna be big, yo. I love this Grimstarl. Like, this is my favorite Grimstarl moveset. It is just so good. It makes Grimstarl top tier. Like, it really does. The Light Clay, you get the screen set up. You have Spirit Break, which is a guaranteed special attack drop. And it, you can do a decent amount of damage with it. Then on top of that, you have Scary Face, which goes first because of Prankster. Drops a minus two. It's just really good at controlling the battle. I love it. I love it. I love it. I adore it. I adore it so much. So, we'll see how this next turn goes. I think he does Dynamax to Kyogre. Kind of hoping he doesn't. And he's going to withdraw the Wimscot and go into who? Lando's going to come out here. That's a weird swap. That is definitely a weird swap. Is he... Like, that's a, that's just a weird swap. I mean, I'm cool with that because... I mean, I get Dacian out here without Intimidate. And he doesn't have Dynamax Kyogre, so we'd like that. We'd like that a lot. So I think he just figured he'd go into uh, a Water Spout here and get off some big damage. But he didn't realize I'm rocking Scary Face, so I'm just going to do that. So we're going to neglect a lot of damage. Origin Pulse can come through here, and Xerneas dodge. That's a beautiful dodge. That's a beautiful dodge. Because Grimstar is going to go down here. That's... That's fine, I guess. And I can just bring out Groudon and kind of change up this weather. Right? Do I bring out Groudon and change up weather and save my Zacian? Because I'm kind of leaning towards just Dynamaxing. Right? Hmm. Do I go Groudon? I like Groudon here. I don't mind him. I'm going to go Groudon. I'll go Groudon. I'll take weather on our side. And we'll roll out from there. Because I'm trying to just waste out these Tailwind turns a little bit. Just so I can get out Zacian. But we know that uh, Landers is going to be fast on the field. Um, we don't have Reflex help, which kind of sucks. But how should I play this one? I definitely got Dynamax U. I could just go into a Flare here. I think like Flare is definitely a play. I'm going to Flare, and then on top of that, I'm just going to... Do I Kalima Gun, or do I Moonblast on the side here? I think I just Moonblast here. I mean, he only has uh, Light Screen set up. So this Flare should be able to take out Landers if he doesn't Dynamax. But there is a slight chance he does Dynamax. 
But if I were him, I would Dynamax the Kyogre. So, just to change up weather. Or I would swap the Kyogre and kind of go from there. Kind of got him in a tough little spot here. Because we still have Zassy in the back end. Which is really, really good. And I'm not too worried about the Whimscott at all. Okay. So, yo, the deer out and about in this battle. And good thing I set up Geoman's first turn. I really did think he was maybe having Taunt. But I was just like, yo, let's just play the simple play. The simple play usually works the best. And we did it, and we rolled out from there. It worked out perfectly. So he's going to Dynamax. I think this is the Landers, right? And he's Dynamax Landers. No, he's going with the Kyogre, which is probably the smarter play. And, ooh, is he going to change up weather before I even get off a shot? I mean, that could be fine, because then we change weather back. But we'll see how, how we get how much value we get off of this. But all I'm hoping is my uh, Journeys can get off one turn, because I can get off a Moonblast right here, and Moonblast has a chance of getting a special attack drop. And that would be huge if we get that. That would be huge if we can get a special attack drop onto this Kyogre. So Kyogre and Groudon get the Dynamax. Dynamax. I always love seeing both of them get the Dynamax at the same time. It just looks really cool. Like, look at them, just these two big guys just staring at each other. Moonblast goes first, actually. Wow, give me a special attack drop. It does a crazy amount of damage. And Lando's going to fly. That's a, that's a beautiful fly. Smart fly by him. I'll give it to him all day. But it's good to know that my Xerneas outspeeds. I was going to Geyser here. And he going after. He going after my uh, Xerneas. He should be able to eat that up. I'm cool with that. I'm so cool with that. I'm so cool with that. I know Moonblast takes out... Uh, what's it called? I know Moonblast takes out Kyger, right? Ooh, it's going to be kind of close. It's going to be kind of close. So I drop a rock. Phantasm. Hmm. To play here, jeans. What is the play? Because I really want to go after. Uh... I mean, I guess we'll change up weather. I I'd rather drop a rock in the slot, so I'm gonna drop a rock here. I'm just gonna moonblast. That's the play. He might guard the Kyogre. He does not. Can moonblast KO? I'm gonna KO. Ah, oh, that's ugly. That is ugly. I mean, Xerneas might be able to eat this up. Can you eat that up? No, you do not. That's ugly, man. Now that's ugly. That's the definition of ugly. Definition of ugly. He's going to geyser. You should be able to eat this up. No problem, right? You have so fast. I have faith in you. Cool. So he eats us up. We change up weather, which is big time news. And now we get to bring out Zassian with no tailing out and about, right? That doesn't KO, but ooh, Buffett's my KO the Kyogre. Buffett's my KO the Kyogre, which could be nice. Kyogre's going to buff it. Can that KO? It does. Okay, that's a big time Buffett KO there. Big time buff KO. Um, I'm trying to think of how we can actually go about this battle. Light Screen wears off. Tailwind's gone. He's going to bring back out Wimscott. Probably set up another Tailwind. But from here, I don't think Landers can take me out, right? I don't think Landers can take me out, can he? Do we think Landers can take me out? Hmm. Right now, I'm faster than Landers. I don't think Landers can take me out. So from here, I'm just going to drop a flare. Actually, no, I want the Buffets out on the field. I want to keep the Buffets. I'm just going to rock fall. And I think I just Behemoth Blade. Then I think I just Behemoth Blade. This is a solid battle here. Both of the battles so far came down to wires. So hopefully you guys are enjoying These are really solid battles. Really, really solid battles. Yeah, I don't think Landers can take out either of my Pokemon. Even if he goes for an EQ, we're fine. But I really do think Wimscott, he has to set up a Tailwind here, right? And hope for maybe crits, because if not, my Zassian just takes out the, the Lando. Yeah, there's Tailwind. Tailwind. He's going to get a bit more speed here, and Landers is going to go for an EQ, maybe? And he's going to fly again. That's fine. That's fine. I'm totally cool with that. Let's I drop a rock here. We take out Wimscott. And turns to a 2v1. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> and it works out perfectly because um Fly's not gonna be able to take out any of these Pokemon. And then uh We go after he comes down. So yeah, that's GG's. That's GG's. I'll drop a fire punch, I'll drop a behemoth blade. Good game. Good game, 2-0. We just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Fly's gonna come down here. Bang. Groudon actually dies to that. Wow, was that a crit? Okay, that's fine. Fine regardless. And the Behemoth Blade is 100% accuracy. It's gonna take him out. It's gonna put us at 2-0. And we just guaranteed you guys a winning record for today's video.
is it just me guys or is series 13 so repetitive look at the team we're going up against i feel like we versus this team every single battle in today's video or a similar team to it we're going up against kyogre zassian groudon and then he's got Whimsicott, Shadow Rider, Kalox, and Yvelta. And I think this is the best team for Series 13. It is the best Pokemon on it. A lot of these guys have a lot of synergy. And it just works really, really well. So hopefully we can win this battle. Grab ourselves a perfect record. But the only Pokemon I haven't showcased on this team yet is going to be this Charizard. So I feel like we just go straight into the Charizard lead. Let's have some fun with it. We already guaranteed ourselves a winner record. If I lose this battle, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. So I'm just going to go Charizard. I'm going to go Groudon. Definitely got to bring Zacian in the back end. And then last but not least, I'm leaning a bit towards Incineroar here. Just for Intimidates and Fake Out Control. I just really like that. So, we'll bring it in Incineroar. We're just going to lead the Fire combo. And he's probably going to bring uh, Kyogre in the back end. But if that's the case, I'm kind of cool with it. I'll just start throwing what's called around. Airstreams and doing some damage. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. But we do have Weakness Pile Shoot. Someone could proc that for me. That'd be beautiful. That would be beautiful. But let's see who he ends up leading. He's going to go into... Da -da -da -da. Ky Yo, show me my ground on slower. If my ground on slower, that'd be so big and I get weather control right off the rip here. Drizzle will come out here first. Drizzle. Dark of War. The Drizzle. Yes. The Drought. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful start to us. It's a huge start. Cool. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So I'm going to Dynamax. I'm going to take some speed. I want some speed. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's going to swap the guy, correct? Makes the most sense. So I might just airstream right into the ship at this lot. Good stone here as well. Uh, actually, could die into Max Kyogre. Uh, I'm gonna airstream into Kyogre. I'm gonna airstream right into the Kyogre. And I'm just straight up stone. My, my my fear here is that uh, what's it called? He swaps Kyogre into Zacian. Right, definitely definitely an option, but he might just die in Max. I don't know. I do not know, but solid. That's the, that's the only benefit with Ground and his weather is uh, he's slower than Kyogre. Really works well. Because Kyogre is definitely a bit stronger than Groudon, obviously. But that's where Groudon gets the upper edge. It's most Groudons are slower than uh, Kyogre. So if you lead him or bring him in at the same time, you're going to get that weather control, which is just so big. So I think he ends up Dynamaxing. This should be the Kyogre, right? I feel like it's got to be the Kyogre. I feel like it's right. Yeah, he ends up Dynamaxing Kyogre. He's going to change the weather up. Hopefully he goes to a geyser into my uh, Charizard, because that would be beautiful. Proc and weakness policy. Then we can just start thriving out here. Let's see how someone plays here. He's gonna. Oh no! Come on now. Snarl. Really? Snarl? We hate that move. We hate that move. Can you please proc my policy? Go into my Charizard with the geyser. That would be, that'd be a beautiful scene. But Snarl coming out here. We do no damage now. We do no damage. So we get a speed boost though. So. Grab on. Can do some damage with the Stone Edge. Can you connect it? He does connect it. Beautiful. Bang. Big time damage. Was that crit or no crit? We need to get the crit. Doing some crazy damage. And guys going to fly. Go into Charizard, please. Go into Char. Let's go. Oh, why'd that do so much damage? <laughs> why'd that do so much damage? We were in the heat. We were in the heat. What is going on? I thought that was going to bring me down to maybe half health. It almost killed me. It almost killed me. It is orbed. It is indeed orbed. Your policy proc. Um, I could drop a wildfire, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I'm not going to lie. Because I really like to get off wildfires. And I think it, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I mean, would we benefit more? I should drop a wildfire into that thing. And then try to call. Hmm. Try to land another stone edge. I mean, I think we just do this. Maybe we just wildfire in the slot, take him out. Then we drop a blades. Blades to do some damage to Kyogre. Let's see what Kyogre does. He still outspeeds me? What is going on? Why are you out? This gotta be choice. That has gotta be choice. That is crazy. That is crazy. A choice? That's gotta be a choice of Eltal, right? That is wild. A choice of Eltal coming in hot here. A choice of Veltal coming in hot. That's not expected. That's pretty cool, though. I'll give it to him all day. That is really cool. Choice of Veltal coming in hot. That, right? Right? It's got to be choice because we're plus one on speed. Plus one on speed. This thing's only using Snarl. Makes the most sense. Okay. We have Zassian. We have Incineroar, which is huge. We can fake out the, uh, the Veltal. 
I mean, you might just swap the Veltal, so I might just go into like a... Uh, I might just go into an attack and move into it. I mean, Snarl's not going to do too much. And I think Zacian... Oh, dude, if we had Sun, I could just Solar Blade it. But I feel like... Do we think Blade could take out? I think Blade could take out. I think Blade could take him out. Beautiful little Blade here. At this point, do we even fake out? We should go through him for a third chop. Eh, let's fake him out. So we don't allow him to do any damage. And then we'll drop a Behemoth Blade right into the slot. Not very effective, but... I got faith in Zassian. This could be a big time KO. Big, big time KO. But there is still a slight chance. Looking at his HP bar, that Kyra can soak this one up. Gonna be cutting it close. But we have Zassian with Incident on the back end. But I'm so surprised that Shiveltal is... Right, right, each choice. He's have, if he goes for Snarl here, he's choice all day. I should be fake him out first and foremost, so that's not too bad. So fake out's gonna come out here. Third chop or flare blade should be able to take him out, and the behemoth blade is going to get blocked. And I'm cool with that. I am definitely cool with that. Right? He's gotta be choice, and that's kind of a mistake by him. Right? He lowers his HP. Actually, he might be able to soak up now. Do I double down into that? Because I'm not really too worried about the snarl. I'm gonna double down into this Pokemon. I mean, Sacred Sword will probably do more at this point. I'm gonna double down into him, just in case. Snarl's gonna come out here. Yeah, he's choice all day. So he would not be going for a snarl up against these two physical attackers. He is choiced all day. That is wild. That is the first time I've ever seen a choice scarfed Yveltal. That's pretty cool. Definitely came a clutch for him. But Sacred Sword flies through. Beautiful. It picks up the KO. Throw Chop's gonna slide over. Should be able to take out Yveltal, no problem, right? Say bye bye to him. He's slow on HP. Cool. So two big KOs. I wonder who he has in the back end. I'm kind of scared of who he has in the back end. It's probably Zacian and Shadow Rider Kallax. It is probably Zacian and Shadow Rider Kallax. But yo, we had this match pretty much on lock. We would have locked it up if uh, if my Charizard would have gotten off one more turn. Just setting up the G-Max Wildfire. Would have been awesome. But he brings out Zacian and he's going to bring out his final Pokemon, which is, yeah, Shadow Rider Kallax. The two strongest Pokemon in the game at the moment. Ah, I don't like this game. Uh, what do I do? I feel like I have to attack, right? I feel like no protects here. I feel like we cannot protect. I feel like we have to go for like a throw chop. I might double down into this Pokemon. I might double down into this Pokemon, which I am going to do. I don't think he protects just the Shadow Rider Kylox. I feel like there's a chance that he protects Zacian. So I'm just going to go straight after the Shadow Rider Kylox. Okay, we're both on attack. Mode. We're both just like guns ablaze blazing. We're getting after it. This one's going to be kind of close. Can my Zacian go before his Zacian? He imprisons. Whoa! Oh there! Luckily, I have Solar Blade, but can't do anything else. I, ca I can't do it. I have to set up a Solar Blade. No Sash? It is Sash. Son of a Biscuit. Can I protect either? Like, what's his moves? Imprison? Actually, it will show us. It will show us what, what moves we can or can't use. So, I can't use Behemoth Blade, which kind of sucks. Um, that is gone. I could go for Flare Blitz and maybe read to protect. Nothing, uh, I'm just going to go with Flare Blitz. So, look, I can't use Behemoth Blade. He sealed that. I can use that. I can definitely use Solar Blade. Can I protect? I cannot protect. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let me just take a sword into him. Wow. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. He's going to end up going straight into an Astro Barrage, and this is not looking good for us. Incineroar can eat. Zassian cannot. I wonder what Zassian going for. He's... We cannot... Wait, we can take a sword. He doesn't have a Sacred Sword. What's he going to do? Maybe we can kick him out with one Flare Blitz. I don't know. Let's see. He's going to play rough. Can we eat that? We can't even eat up the play rough. But there it is, guys. GG's. Definitely MVP for that third and final battle was that Choice Scarf Yvelta. Came in clutch for him and ended up all around getting him the W. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one for today's video. And we had three amazing battles for today's video, which is absolutely amazing. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Want to give a huge shout out to the team creator one last time, Clover Bells. Another big shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for always making me teams and always sending them over to me. Absolutely loved it. And this team is definitely strong on the rank ladder as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.